Why did you go to Lincoln Park that day? ¿Por qué fue usted al parque Lincoln en ese día? Hacer ejercicio. To exercise. And when you say exercise, what were you doing on that day? Y cuando usted dice ejercicio, ¿qué hacía usted ese día? Estaba haciendo pechadas, estaba corriendo. I was doing push-ups and running. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did you see anyone in Lincoln Park while you were there? Usted, that you knew? Usted vio a alguien en Lincoln Park que usted conocía? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. What did you see? ¿A quién vio usted? A la hermana de mi amiga y a mi hermana. My sister and my sister's friend. Uh, what's your sister's name? Está bien. ¿Cómo se llama su hermana? And how old uh, was she? She was 15 years old. Had she just turned 15? ¿Acababa ella de cumplir los 15? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. You mentioned someone else. Who was with your sister? Usted mencionó otra persona. ¿Quién estaba con su hermana? Su amiga. Her friend. Now, did there come a time when you and your sister commenced to leave the park, Lincoln Park? Ahora llegó un momento donde usted y su hermana comenzaron irse del parque, del parque Lincoln. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. And why were you leaving the park? ¿Y por qué se iba usted del parque? Porque me iba para la casa. Because I was on my way home. And what was one of the reasons why you were on your way home, leaving from the park, related to your sister? ¿Y por qué era una de las razones que usted se iba del parque con respecto a su hermana? Porque le dije que se cambiara de ropa, que no estaba bien lo que tenía puesto. Because I told her that she should change her clothing, that she wasn't dressed right. And when you say right, do you mean appropriately? Y cuando usted dice que no estaba bien lo que tenía puesto, usted quiere decir que no estaba vestida apropiadamente. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Which way were you leaving the park that day? <coughs> ¿Por, qué por, ¿Por dónde es que usted se iba del parque en ese día? Por el lado de Kensington. Through the get Kensington side. What happened as you were leaving the park with your sister via Kensington? ¿Qué pasó mientras usted salía con su hermana por el lado de Kensington? Venía caminando y y al señor estaba viendo a mi hermana y yo le dije que por qué la miraba I was walking and I saw the man and he was looking at my sister so I asked him why are you looking at her what did he say to you y qué fue lo que él le respondió a usted qué qué usted dijo he said what did you say What did you do? Y usted? I kept walking. What did he do next? Y qué hizo él después? Me quería agredir por la espalda. He wanted to assault me on my back. Judge, judge. Okay, judge, judge. 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 What did he do to you? ¿Qué le hizo él a usted? Que me quería agredir por la espalda. He wanted to assault me by my back. Action. Stay. Sure to disregard the good space. Next question. Did he push you? Él me empujó. Sí, él me empujó. Yes, he did push me. And how did you react to that? 
¿Y cómo reaccionó usted cuando eso pasó? Me asusté y me di la espalda. Y me cuadré. I got scared, I turned around, and I confronted him. And prior to, the, prior to turning around and squaring up, what, what did you do with the phone? Y antes de virarse y cuadrarse de a él, ¿qué hizo usted antes de eso con su teléfono? Lo puse en la gravilla, en el cemento. I put it on the gravel, on the cement. And what happened to the phone? ¿Y qué pasó con su teléfono? Se me cayó. It fell. To where? ¿A dónde? En el suelo. On the floor. How are you positioned when he pushed you? ¿Cómo estaba usted posicionado cuando él le empujó a usted? Estaba de espaldas. I had my back towards him. Did you ever hit a person? ¿Usted en algún momento le pegó a la persona? No, señor. No, sir. Do you see the person who pushed you that day in the courtroom? ¿Usted ve la persona que le empujó a usted en ese día aquí en la sala? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Can you please point in the direction of that individual? Por favor, señale la dirección de ese individuo. Señoría, el testigo está identificado al acusado. Thank you. Identificando al acusado. After he pushed you and after your phone fell to the ground, what happened next? Después que él empujó y después que su teléfono cayó al piso, ¿qué pasó después? Él recogió mi teléfono y me lo tiró. He picked up my phone and he threw it at me. What happened as a result of him throwing the phone at me? ¿Y qué pasó como resultado que él le haya tirado el teléfono a usted? Me lo rompió. He broke it. What else did he do, if any? ¿Qué más le hizo él a usted si es que hizo alguna cosa? Me enseñó la pistola que tenía. He showed me the gun that he had. Before he showed you the gun, did he hit you? Pero antes de que le mostrara la pistola, ¿él le pegó? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Where did he hit you? ¿A dónde le pegó? Me pateó. He kicked him. Did he punch him? Le dio un puñetazo. Objeción, su señor. Sugiere la respuesta. Adelante. No, 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 no
que era policía? No, señor. No, sir. What did he do with the gun after he shot you? ¿Qué hizo él con la pistola después que él se lo mostró a usted? La sacó. He pulled it out. Y me apuntó. And he pointed it at me. Where did he point the gun? ¿A dónde fue que le... ¿Hacia dónde le apuntó la pistola? A mi cara. To my face. Did he say anything to you while he was pointing the gun to your face? Mientras que él le apuntaba hacia la cara, ¿le decía algo a usted? No, sé. No, sir. Who, me? No, él. No, él. No, sir. No, sir. What happened after he pointed the gun at your face? ¿Qué fue lo que pasó después que él le apuntó la pistola hacia su cara? Yo le estaba diciendo que si tenía huevos que me disparara. I was telling him that if he had any balls that he should shoot me. What did he do? ¿Y qué hizo él? Me disparó. He shot. In which direction did he shoot? ¿En qué dirección disparó? Como para el aire. He shot as if in the air. Which side of you? ¿Por qué lado suyo? Lado izquierdo. To my left side. How did you react when he shot the gun? ¿Cómo reaccionó usted cuando él disparó la pistola? Estaba asustado, no escuchaba nada por el, por el disparo que me tiró. I was afraid and I couldn't hear anything because of the shot. How far away was he from you when he shot the gun? ¿A qué distancia estaba él de usted cuando él disparó la pistola? Como cuatro o tres pies. About three or four feet away. Did you see anything come out of the gun? ¿Usted vio algo que salía de la pistola? El cartucho, el casquillo. A bullet? The, the shell? How did that make you feel? ¿Cómo se sintió usted? Yo me sentí mal. I felt awful. Was there anyone with the cop? Había alguien con el policía. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Who? Quién? Su hijo. His son. Now I said a word, cop. Up until that point, he had not told you that he was a police officer, right? Ah, yo le dije a policía, pero hasta entonces usted no había escuchado a la policía. No responda la pregunta o objeción. Was there anyone with the police officer? ¿Había alguien con el policía? Sí. Yes. Who was it? ¿Quién era? Su hijo. His son. Did you know that for sure? ¿Sabía usted eso con certeza? No. No. What if anything did the son do? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo el hijo de él si es que hizo algo? Me quería golpear. He wanted to hit me. Objection. Objection. Stay. Al lugar que llama para un estado de mente. What did the son do that made you believe that? ¿Qué hizo el hijo que lo hizo usted pensar eso? Se estaba acercando a mí como queriéndome hacer algo, pero nunca lo hizo. He was coming closer to me as if he wanted to do something, but he never did it. Did you hit the son? ¿Usted le pegó al hijo? No, señor. No, sir. Did you hit the defendant? ¿Usted le pegó al acusado? No, señor. No, sir. Any point? En algún momento. No, señor. No, sir. Where was your 15-year-old sister throughout this time? 
Y durante todo este tiempo, ¿a dónde se encontraba su hermana de 15 años? Atrás de mí, señor. She was behind me, sir. You said get right. It was very cold in English. Get right. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Get right. What does get right signify? Get get right. You don't know what it signifies. Okay, this video, this is after the shot was fired, right? Este video se grabó después de que se disparó la arma, ¿no? Sí. Yes. Is that when you said that you were MS-13? Are you from the discotheque that was MS-13? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going to ask you again. Are you MS-13? I want to ask you again. Are you a member of MS-13? No, sir. No, sir. Oh, so you have tattoos, right? Can you tell me that you have tattoos, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you have one hand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The tattoo on your hand. What is that? The tattoo on your hand? What is that? A cat and a film. A cat and a film. What film is that? Alice in the Maravillas. Alice in Wonderland. Show them your tattoo. Enseñales a llevar el tatuaje. Should it be described as a cat from a film? Is that in art and ink? Carlos, ¿este tatuaje lo escribió usted que es el dato de una película? ¿Esto está aplicado a la mano en una cinta? Sí, señor. Sí, señor. And the initials on your forearm, that's what you're wearing. ¿Y los militares en el antebrazo son de la familia de usted? Sí, señor. Sí, señor. And it's visible that you also have a tattoo on your hand. Judge, can you just have them right here and click the initials that are on your hand? Carlos, the rose, the cat, the are any of those tattoos indicative of MS-13? The rose, the cat, the rose, the cat, the rose, the cat, the cat, the rose, the cat, the rose, the cat, the rose, the cat, the rose, the cat, no, What information did you provide to the detective? Solo lo que había pasado en el parque. Just what had happened in the park. Did you tell her the truth? That you have a lie yet? Claro que sí, señor. Yes, of course, sir. What happened after you provided your statement? ¿Qué pasó después? ¿Qué pasó después de que dio usted su declaración? ¿Lo dejaron a usted en libertad? Sí, señor. Sí, señor. ¿Were you released into the custody of your mother? ¿Le dejaron en libertad con su madre? Sí, señor. Sí, señor. ¿Where did you go? ¿A dónde se dirigió? A la casa, señor. Prior to coming here today, Carlos, did you and I meet? Antes de venir aquí hoy día, Carlos, usted y yo nos reunimos. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. We go over your statement. 
repasamos la información de la declaración suya? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Did we go over the questions that I would ask you? Repasamos las preguntas que yo le iba a hacer. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Did we go over the questions that defense counsel could potentially ask? Repasamos las preguntas que posiblemente le podría llegar a hacer el abogado defensor. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Carlos, I have no further questions. Carlos, no tengo más preguntas. Good afternoon, Mr. Martinez. Buenas tardes, señor Martinez. Good afternoon, sir. You've been utilizing the court interpreters for your testimony throughout this case so far, correct? Usted ha estado usando los intérpretes oficiales en español para su testimonio en este caso, ¿no es cierto? Yes, sir. But you understand English, don't you? Pero usted entiende el inglés, ¿no? Yes, sir. And you speak English, correct? Y usted habla inglés. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Okay, and in fact, the entire incident that we're here discussing in this courtroom was entirely in English, correct? Y no es más que el incidente completo del cual estamos hablando aquí en esta sala, todo transcurrió en inglés, ¿no es cierto? Yes, sir. Did you understand everything that Officer Salustino said to you when you were at the scene? Usted entendió todo lo que el oficial Salustino le decía a usted en el lugar de los hechos? Yes, sir. And you responded to him in English each time, correct? Y usted cada vez le respondía a él en inglés. Sí, señor. Yes, sir. All right, before I ask you any other questions, is there anything that you think you maybe didn't understand when you were out there that day? Está bien. Y antes de comenzar a hacer las preguntas, ¿había alguna pregunta que usted no entendió en aquel entonces cuando estaba ahí el día de los hechos? That why had I been arrested? Okay, that you didn't understand when that was said to you in a much sure follow. Right. Está bien. No sé si he entendido. Usted quiere decir taches. When it was explained to you why you were arrested, you don't think you understood that because it was told to you in English. Is that what you're saying? Lo que usted está diciendo es que usted no entendió cuando se le explicaba a usted. De por qué fue arrestado cuando se lo dijeron en inglés. Yes, I didn't understand. Okay. Anything else that you can think of that maybe you didn't understand when it was happening that day? Está bien. Hay alguna otra cosa que quizás usted no haya entendido de lo que estaba ocurriendo en ese día? No, sir. So you're hearing me in English, correct? Entonces usted me escucha a mí en inglés, ¿no? Yes, sir. Um, I would ask that you wait until the court interpreter interprets it in Spanish, and then you can answer in Spanish, and we'll talk that way, just like you've been doing all day, okay? Está bien. Yo voy a pedir que usted primero espere que el intérprete le interprete todo en español, y después usted conteste en inglés lo mismo que hemos estado haciendo hoy todo el día. That's fine, sir. And when you gave your statement to the prosecutor's office back on July 28th of 2018, um, that statement was in Spanish, correct? Está bien. Cuando usted dio su declaración al oficial el 28 de julio 2019, 18, todo eso fue en español, ¿no es cierto? Yes, sir. But you answered a lot of questions in English too, right? Pero usted también respondió muchas de las preguntas en inglés. Sí, algunas. Yes, some of them. Okay. And uh, have you had a chance to go over the statement that's, uh, that you gave? Está bien. ¿Ha tenido usted una oportunidad de revisar la declaración que usted dio? Um, sí. Um, yes. Okay. Did you read it or was it told to you? Está bien. ¿Usted lo leyó o se le explicó a usted? It was told. To me. And who told it to you? Está bien. ¿Quién fue el que se lo explicó a usted? The person that I gave the statement to. Okay. So the, the, there was a female detective that gave the statement to him on July 28th, correct? Está bien. Entonces había una, una mujer, una detective, que le tomó su declaración el día 28 de junio. Yes, sir. Was, so you're saying that same female officer uh, read that transcript to you? Entonces lo que usted me está diciendo es 
que esa señora, la detective, fue la que le leyó esta transcripción a usted. Sí. Yes, sir. ¿Cuándo fue eso? ¿Cuándo fue eso? I don't remember, sir. Was it within the last week? Fue dentro de la, esta, última, esta última semana. No. More than a year ago? Hace más de un año. I think so. Okay. And was the purpose that she read it to you so that you would agree with the translation from Spanish to English? Y la razón por la cual ella se lo leyó a usted es para que usted estuviera de acuerdo con la traducción que se le hizo de español al inglés. Yes. Okay. And did you agree with it? Está bien. ¿Usted estaba de acuerdo? Yes. Yeah. Just for the record, I have in front of you um, what's been marked by the state as S24 for identification, and that is a record is clear. A 71-page statement. Está bien. Y para que quede claro en acta. El documento de prueba que ha sido marcado documento de cargo S24 es un documento de 71 páginas. And uh, was this the statement, if you look at it, was this the statement that the detective uh, read to you sometime after July 28th when it was prepared? Y este documento, esta fue la declaración que la detective le leyó a usted un momento después del 28 de julio, cuando usted dio su declaración. Yes. Um, and I'm going to leave this here. We're going to get to this a little bit later. But on the left-hand side is the Spanish words, correct? And the right-hand side is the translation into English. Is that correct? Está bien. Yo voy a dejar esto aquí para hablar sobre este tema más tarde. Pero mostrando esto aquí ahora, aquí a la izquierda están las palabras en español. Y aquí a la derecha está la traducción al inglés, ¿correcto? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, when we get to this, I'll tell you what page we're on, so you can look at it. If you need to read it, you, you read Spanish, ¿correct? Ahora, yo lo dejaré aquí, y cuando empezaremos a hablar de esto, yo le, da, yo le diré en qué página estamos, y usted lo puede mirar y leer. ¿Usted lee el inglés? Uh, Interpreter's correction. ¿Usted lee en español? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll leave this here. And you said it's accurate um, from what you told the detective back on July 28th, correct? Está bien. Voy a dejar esto aquí. Y usted me ha dicho que esto está correcto por lo que usted le dijo a la detective el 28 de julio. Correct. Yes, sir. Um, you came to the United States from Honduras in 2012, correct? Usted vino a los Estados Unidos de Honduras en el 2012, ¿no es cierto? Yes, sir. You were 12 years old? Usted tenía 12 años de edad. Yes, sir. And um, you went to middle school here in the uh, United States? Y usted asistió al middle school aquí en los Estados Unidos. Sí, yes, sir. Learned English in middle school? Aprendió el inglés en el middle school. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Went to high school here? ¿Usted asistió a la secundaria aquí? Sí, sí. Yes, Ferris High School, correct? En la secundaria Ferris. Sí, sí. Yes, sir. Uh, how many years did you go to Ferris? ¿Cuántos años asistió usted a la secundaria Ferris? One year, sir. Speak English there? ¿Habló usted inglés ahí? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, where did you learn the English language? Está bien. ¿A dónde fue que aprendió usted el idioma, el inglés? En un programa. En un programa, sir. Okay. Um, when you you testified earlier, when the prosecutor was asking you questions, um, that you were never in the gang MS-13, correct? Usted atestiguó antes cuando el fiscal le hacía las preguntas que usted nunca está unido a las pandillas MS-13. Correcto, señor. Correct, sir. And uh, you said that the only reason that you said that to my client, when you said it, according to you, was because you're angry. Right? Y usted dijo que la única razón que usted se lo había dicho a mi cliente cuando usted se lo llevó a decir es porque usted estaba enfadado. Correct. Um, 
You didn't say that you were MS-13 when we were watching the video uh, when my client and his 13-year-old son passed you, correct? Usted no le dijo a mi cliente y a su hijo de 13 años cuando ellos le pasaban alrededor de usted que usted era un MS-13 pandillero. No, sé. No, sé. And you said you learned, I guess, the ways of the gang, MS-13, when you lived in Honduras, correct? Y creo que usted dijo que usted aprendió sobre las actividades de las pandillas cuando usted vivía en Honduras. Correct, sir. You never joined the gang when you were in Honduras. Usted nunca se unió con las pandillas cuando estaba en Honduras. Negative, sir. Okay. But you do know that they recruited people as young as you into MS-13, correct? Pero usted sabe que ellos recluían a muchachos tan jóvenes como usted, el MS-13. Yo no sé, señor. I do know, sir. Um, but you weren't one of them. Pero usted no es uno de ellos. No, no sé. Of course not. Okay. Now, um... That transcript that's in front of you, you just take a look at that. I, I asked you if it was accurate. We also want to make sure that everything that you said in there was truthful, because they did put you under oath. So, was it all truthful? Ahora, esa transcripción que usted tiene aquí para mirar, le pregunté si estaba correcto, pero también lo que quiero saber, si todo es, eh, fue fiel o verídico. Porque usted en aquel entonces estaba bajo juramento y se le pidió decir la verdad. Sí, dije la verdad, señor. Yes, I did tell the truth, sir. Um, do you recall, strike that, there was also a videotape of this interview, correct? ¿Se acuerda usted, Tache, eso? También le hicieron una grabación de esta entrevista, ¿no es así? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, do you recall uh, after having seen that video? ¿Se acuerda usted? Before today. ¿Se acuerda usted haber visto este video antes de hoy día? Está en internet. It's on the internet, so... No. It hasn't been a long time since I last saw it. Maybe it was a month ago. All right, maybe you misunderstood. The, the, you're talking about the video that we just saw, correct? Creo que usted ha malentendido. Usted está hablando del video que vimos ahora. Do you remember the statement that you gave that ended up as this transcript was Sorry. also a video? Um, I'm sorry. Your Honor, could you instruct the witness to wait for the interpretation? Wait for the interpretation. Espere para la interpretación. ¿Se acuerda usted el video que se le tomó cuando usted tomó, eh, cuando usted dio esta declaración, también se le hizo una grabación de la entrevista? I do remember, sir. Okay. So you watched it. Está bien. Entonces, ¿usted lo vio? Sí, lo vi, señor. Yes, I did see it, sir. Okay. And while we're at it, how many times did you meet with this gentleman right here? Y ya que estamos hablando sobre este tema, ¿cuántas veces se reunió usted con este señor que está aquí? Dos veces, señor. Twice, sir. Twice, okay. And on both of those occasions, he asked you some questions about what happened? Dos veces. Entonces, en esas dos ocasiones, él le preguntó a usted sobre lo que había ocurrido. Claro que sí, señor. Of course he did, sir. And he predicted what I might ask you so that you could be prepared for those questions, right? Y él le predijo lo que yo le preguntaría a usted para que usted estuviera preparado para estas preguntas. Of course he did. Okay. Just a couple questions, more questions about this. Um, Entonces, unas cuantas preguntas más sobre esto. You were asked on several occasions to explain what happened in the park, correct? A usted se le preguntó varias veces sobre lo que ocurrió en el parque, ¿no es cierto? Sí, sí. Yes, sir. You remember, pardon me, how many different times you had to explain 
Piensa. ¿Se acuerda usted cuántas diferentes maneras usted tuvo que explicar el incidente? Many ways. Okay. Many ways. And Muchas maneras. You recall it wasn't until about 42 minutes into the statement, obviously that's an approximation, when that's the first time anyone, the detective asked you about MS-13. Ahora, ¿se acuerda usted que no fue hasta 42 minutos ya tomándole su declaración que la detective le preguntó sobre el MS-13? Sí, ella lo preguntó. Yes, she did ask me. Right. You never brought it up in the couple of times that they had asked you what happened. You never brought up that you had uh, said you were MS-13 and uh, when you were interacting with Officer Celestina, right? Y a usted se le preguntó varias veces y en ninguna de esas veces usted había mencionado que usted, entre su interacción con el oficial Celestino, usted había dicho que usted era un miembro del MS-13. I'm sorry, could you repeat that to me one more time? Sure, in the several times that you had to explain what happened on July 28th to the detective, you never once mentioned the words MS-13 came out of your mouth, right? En las varias veces que usted le tuvo que explicar lo que ocurrió a la detective el 28 de julio, usted ni una sola vez mencionó el MS-13. No. Okay. So the first time you get asked is on page 59, if you don't mind turning to that page. The page numbers are kind of strange, they're up in the left hand corner. And um, it says Detective Oliva, but I think her name is Bolivar. Do you remember that? Bolivar. Do you remember her name? Yes, sir. What was it? ¿Cómo se llamaba ella? Olivar. Okay, we're going to go with that. Um, all right, you remember her asking, saying to you, um, okay, perfect. At any moment, did you mention you were part of the gang? Remember her asking that question? Está bien. ¿Se acuerda usted cuando ella le preguntó, está bien, perfecto, en algún momento mencionó usted que usted era parte de una pandilla? ¿Se acuerda que ella le había preguntado eso? Sí, ya me lo había preguntado. Sí. Yes, she had asked me, yes. And on the top of the next page, you answered, Yes, I mentioned it. En la próxima página, usted dijo, sí, yo lo mencioné. Sí, señor, lo and then she, Yes, sir, I did say it. Okay. And then she said, which? And you said, that I belonged to the MS-13 gang. Y ella le preguntó cuál, y usted respondió que yo pertenezco a la pandilla MS-13. Yes, I did say that. Okay. And then she asked you, when did you tell her? And your answer was, when I threw him gang. Y ella le preguntó, ¿cuándo fue que usted se lo preguntó? Y usted le respondió, cuando yo le tiré las señales de la pandilla. You said that, right? Yes, sir. Usted dijo eso, yes, sir. She asked you, are you? Y right. ella le preguntó, ¿es usted? And your answer yes, was, I'm not going to admit it. No, I was. Y su respuesta fue, no lo voy a admitir, no, pero yo sí lo era. That was your answer on Rose, right? Esa fue. You don't have to instruct the witness to wait for the interpretation. Wait for the interpreter to finish translating, then answer the question. Espere que el intérprete termine la interpretación y después conteste. Joran, could the interpreter ask for a repetition of the question? Sure. Your answer to that question. 
are you, was, I am not going to admit it, no, I was. Ella le preguntó, ¿lo eras? Y usted le respondió, no lo voy a admitir, no, pero yo sí fui. Yes, I did say that. Okay. So, if that's truthful, then you were a member of the gang. Está bien, entonces, si eso fue la verdad, entonces usted sí fue un pandillero. No, sir. So, that answer wasn't truthful? Entonces, esa respuesta no fue la verdad? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Um, so you lied to Detective Oliva. Entonces usted le mintió a la Detective Oliva. No, I didn't lie to her, sir. Well, are, then are you lying here in court when you're saying that I never was a part of the gang? Entonces está mintiendo usted aquí en la sala que usted dice que usted nunca fue un miembro de la pandilla. I haven't lied, and I have never been a gang member of the MS-13. Okay, but when you said in your statement that you were, you said that was truthful. Está bien, pero cuando usted dijo en su declaración que usted sí lo era, eso no era la verdad. I know it wasn't the truth, sir, but it just came out, me having said that. All right, anything else that just came out um, that you can remember from that statement that wasn't truthful? Está bien, hay otra cosa que sencillamente le salió que no haya sido la verdad que usted quizás haya dicho. No, sir. No, sir. You understand that a man got charged with crimes based upon the testimony that you gave under oath. Entiende usted que hay un hombre que se le ha acusado de algún delito Basándose el testimonio que usted dio bajo juramento. And you got, I know, sir. Thank you. You know that. Usted lo sabe, no? And you got released at the end of this statement based upon the statements you gave, correct? Y a usted lo pusieron en libertad una vez que salió a reducir, una vez que usted dio esa declaración. Correcto, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, we're clear. When you said you were to the investigator, you lied. Entonces, para que quede claro, cuando usted le dijo a la investigadora que usted sí era, usted mintió. Sí mintió, porque se me había salido. I did lie because it came out. Okay. Um, do you remember when you got arrested at the scene, they put you in a police car, a Jersey police car? And you saw that? ¿Se acuerda usted cuando usted lo arrestaron, que lo metieron en la patrulla de Jersey City. ¿Se acuerda usted que lo metieron en la patrulla de, de la policía de Jersey City? Sí, yes, I remember. Okay, and they briefly took you to the juvenile bureau, correct? Está bien, y ellos brevemente lo llevaron a usted a la unidad de menores. Sí, señor. No, yes, señor. Okay, so Mr. Martinez, after you were taken from the juvenile bureau, uh, the police took you to the prosecutor's office, correct? Okay, you got there around 4 o'clock in the afternoon? And when you got there, you were awaiting to be interviewed, correct? The interview that is, you just talked. Yes, sir. And you knew that the people that were interviewing, or did you know that the people that were interviewing you um, are people that investigate police officers? So you knew what information they were kind of looking for, right? <laughs> You can answer. Yes, sir. Okay. They were looking for information about the officer. Yes, sir. And you told them what they wanted to hear, right? Sustained. Withdrawn. While you were waiting to go into the prosecutor's office, 
you were sitting with a jersey, at least one jersey police officer, correct? Y me pues estaba esperando para pasar a la oficina de la fiscalía, porque yo estaba sentado ahí con un policía, por lo menos con un policía de jurisdicción, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Get into a short conversation with the officer. ¿Tuvo usted una breve conversación con el policía? No, sí. While you were sitting outside the prosecutor's investigation room, was there one police officer with you or two from Jersey City? Okay. The officer that drove you there. Did you see him again while you were seated waiting to go in to speak to the prosecutor's office? Do you remember saying to a Jersey City police officer, right before you gave your statement, the reason you came to America was to change your life and that you were in a gang in Honduras MS-13. ¿Se acuerda usted haber dicho al policía de Jersey City justo antes de dar usted su declaración de que el motivo por el cual usted vino a los Estados Unidos era para cambiarse la vida, para cambiar la vida, cambiar su vida y de que era miembro de una familia de Honduras, etc. No me recuerdo haber dicho eso, señor. I don't remember saying that, sir. Okay. So you're not sure if he just came out? No está seguro si es que le salió. Cuando usted llegó a Estados Unidos, ¿qué pasó? 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 Cuando usted llegó a pero lo que dice usted ahora, de hoy en día, que eso no es preciso. No, sir. Oh. So, tell me what you learned about, sorry, um, you said you learned the ways of MS-13 by observing them when you were in Honduras, correct? Digamos que qué es lo que supo de un objetivo, esa parte de la pregunta. Usted dijo que aprendió acerca de las costumbres de MS-13 al observar los estados de Honduras, ¿verdad? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. And you know the full name of the gang is Mara Salvatruca. Y usted sabe que el nombre de la pandilla es Mara Salvatruca. Trucha. Trucha, sí, señor. Trucha, yes, sir. Okay. And you know what that means? ¿Sabe usted lo que significa? No, señor. No, señor. Does it mean in Spanish, smart Salvadorian street gang? Um, do you know how you get into MS-13? Okay. You have to commit a random act of violence, correct? Okay. Um, what do you have to get beaten in? Yes, sir. Okay. For how long? Thirteen seconds. So, and you're beaten by other gang members, right? And once you're beaten, you're then at the low rung of the totem pole, correct? <coughs> and then once you're in, you deliver those beatings on other new people that come in, right? I couldn't, I don't, can't explain any more because I don't know about that. Oh. You know how you get in, but you don't know. Well, sorry. You know to get in, you get beaten. But you don't know that the people that once they get in do the beating. Yes, sir. And did you learn that the way you move up in the ranks of MS-13? Is the more random and the more violent the act, the more quickly you move up. Why are you, when you're in Honduras, that uh, in order to move up through the ranks of MS-13, the more random, the more violent the act you commit, the quicker you move up. Aprendió usted 
que el Estado esté en Honduras, de que para poder subir por lo largo de, de, de la realidad de la que cuanto más aleatorio el hecho violento o más violento, eh, eh, con más rapidez uno puede subir por los rangos? No sé si. I don't know how to respond to that question, sir. Um, asking me if you learned it. Is that something you knew? <laughs> Did you know what their gang colors were? Right, to repeat, you know what? I was, I was afraid. Did you know blue and white are MS-13's gang colors? ¿Sabía usted que el azul y el blanco son colores de la familia MS-13? No, no sabía. No, I did not know. Okay. What were you wearing that day? Ese día creo que... ¿Cuál es tu nombre? El día del caso. The day of the case? Yes, sir. Sí, señor. Tenía un chulo azul y una camisa blanca. I was wearing blue shorts and a white shirt. And, um... Did you ever see any of the gang members on Honduras wearing blue and white? <laughs> Isn't that the uh, which one? Um, you knew they possessed guns, right? Yes. What's really their weapon of choice? AK-47. Other guns. Machetes? Machete? Yeah. Also. Knives? Cuchillos. That too. And they generally carry them on them, right? And they carry them on them, Yes. Now, when you came to the United States, did you know any MS-13 gang members here? No, no, sir. So you don't know if the rules apply here the same way they do down there. No, I don't know, Now, you learned some gang symbols, right? I was definitely almost single of the member of the Yes, sir. And the most famous one they have is the double horns, right? Can you show double horns to them? Okay. And um, where'd you learn that? Was that watching them? Okay, interpreter over spoke. Sure. You learn that from watching the gang in Honduras. Yes, sir. In the seven years you had been in the United States, right there, in the Six years? You had been in the United States? Is this the first time you used the devil's horns? Yes, sir. And you used the phrase in your statement, you threw gang. You threw gang. That's a gang phraseology, isn't it? Y usted utilizó la frase de su declaración en inglés, throw gang, tirar, sandía. Eso es un dicho de. Is this is a gang phrase? Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> did you learn when you were in Honduras that MS-13 are taught not to cooperate with police? Y usted aprendió cuando estaba en Honduras que se les enseña a los miembros de MS-13 que no colaboren con la policía. Yes, I learned it watching. Never respect the police. No respect the police. Yes. Did you ever hear of them putting out hits on police? ¿Alguna vez ha oído de hechos de detenciones para matar policías? No, sir. No, sir. Do you know what a green light is? Yes, I do, sir. A green light. ¿Sabes lo que es una luz verde? Yes, I do, sir. What is that? Okay. Like to see. You don't know what it is in gang terminology. No sabe lo que es en cuanto a la terminología de pandillas. No creo que sea. Perdón. No creo que sea. I don't think so, sir. Would you agree that anyone, including a police officer, would be concerned for their safety if they came into contact with an MS-13 gang member? 
Eh, ¿Usted estaría de acuerdo con que cualquier persona, incluido un policía, estaría preocupado por su propia seguridad en caso de encontrarse con un tipo de violencia en trate? Aaron, ¿qué mean? Sure. You, you told Detective Celestino that you were MS-13 gang and you threw the gang signs at him um, because you wanted to place him in fear, correct? You said that. Mm -hmm. eh, claro, usted le dijo al detective Celestino que usted era miembro de MS-13 y usted le tiró una, una señal de pandilla hacia él mostrándole porque usted quería que sintiera miedo. Es porque usted lo dijo, ¿cierto? Correcto. Correcto. You could have said a lot of different things, but you chose MS-13 because you knew that was the most violent thing you could tell. Yes, to make them afraid. By the way, did you ever, the well, last question we asked you about this is, did you um, ever learn in your Honduras, the one thing you never do is you never admit to being in the gang? Y por cierto, eh, usted, en algún momento, esto va a ser la última pregunta sobre este tema, pero usted en algún momento aprendió en Honduras de que lo, de, lo último, o sea, lo que uno nunca llega a hacer es reconocer el ser miembro de la familia. ¿Perdón? ¿Puedes repetir la pregunta? Sure. You never admit when you're, if you're a member of the gang, you never admit it to anyone. Uh, you don't admit to being a member of the gang. Yes, you don't admit to being a member of the gang. Yes, you don't admit to being a member of the gang. Yes, you don't admit to being a member of the gang. Yes, you don't admit no? I don't think there's a way out, sir. Right, you're in for life. So, de por vida. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, video if we get to it today if not first thing in the morning but you recall watching from the video um, the first person that came into view um, on the on the tape was your sister yes sir and you saw her she kind of had strike when you see her coming into view there, was that the first time you had seen her in the park? So, where we're looking at her coming onto the screen is the first time that you see her in the park, correct? You're heading home. As a ship. First I saw her with my friend. Then después ella iba para la casa. And then she was heading home. So I didn't come here with her. So I told her I was going to go with her. And I was complaining to her about the clothes she had on. So how long had you been with her before you started to complain about her clothing? A couple seconds. Yes. Because you just saw her and you saw what she was wearing and the way she was wearing it. And that upset you, right? Y porque usted acababa de ver y lo que llevaba puesto y esto le molestó. Sí, sí. Yes, sir. She had a dress on, but she had it up and kind of tied around her middle section, right? Y ella tenía una, eh, una falda, eh, pero tenía como atada sobre la cintura, ¿cierto? Sí, sí. Yes, sir. And she was kind of exposing uh, 
whatever undergarment she had that black sort of compression shorts, I'll call it. And um, you didn't like when she uh, dressed like that, right? No, sir. Okay. So you yelled at her and you said, change that because everyone's looking at you. I didn't yell at her, I spoke, I spoke to her. Okay. Um, and you spoke to her and said, change that because everyone's looking at you, right? Yes, that's right. But you didn't know if everyone was looking at her, you were just... I know that, but I know how men are. Okay. And it was about 83 degrees that day, right? Yes, sir. So she said, I'm going home to change. Right? You remember telling the investigator that? Yes. She told you she was going home to change because you were telling her to do that, or she was doing it anyway? So, she, so you told her, I don't like what you're wearing, you're going home to change, and she said, okay, I'm going home to change. So she knew you were angry with her. Uh, not angry, but uh, upset. Okay. And you were upset as you were walking down that path directly behind her as she was now starting to try to fix her skirt, her dress. Molesto con ella mientras usted iba caminando con, con ella detrás de ella por el caminito, eh, mientras ella empezaba a arreglarse la tarde la, 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 la. Sí, ¿no? yes, no, no. Okay. And the first person that you came into contact with after you said everyone's looking at you was Officer Salcino, right? Y la primera persona con quien tuvo usted un encuentro, un contacto, después de usted decir que todo el mundo le está mirando, fue el oficial Salcino, eh, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. And you actually spotted him as soon as he entered into that, between that brick uh, entrance. You looked to the right and you saw him coming, right? Yes, I did see him, sir. Okay, and we'll watch the video tomorrow, but um, a couple of times you actually were walking, you walked in his direction, right? Towards him? Yes. Yeah, because he was looking at her. Um, and you were looking for people to be looking at her, right? Sure. You were looking for people at that point who were going to be looking at her. I wasn't looking for people to be looking at her. Okay. And you looked over, you looked at your sister, and you turned to him and you said, Wow. I just, I just said, what are you looking at? Just like that? Yes, I said that. Not angrily, not agitated, not upset. I was a little bit upset, but I just said, what are you looking at? Okay. And what was his response? He responded, Nothing. He just said to me, what did, what did I say? Okay. In your statement, do you remember saying, the only thing he said to you was one word? What? En su declaración, recuerda eh, usted que lo único que dijo era usted una palabra, ¿qué palabra? 
I'm sorry? In your statement, do you recall saying the only thing he said in response to me was what? Y en su declaración, recuerda usted que lo único que él, según la declaración de usted, que lo único que él dijo a usted en respuesta fue ¿qué? Yes. I remember. I don't remember exactly, but I believe so. Uh, I can show it. Se lo puedo mostrar. Yes. 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 Yes
para el ninguno antes de tocar. Sí, porque yo sabía que él venía atrás de mí. Because I knew he was coming. I knew that he was coming behind me. Okay. You knew he was coming with your back turned. Usted con las espaldas de él sabía que venía. Sí, lo escuché como quiera. Yes, because I heard either way. Okay. Did you also hear him say, Jersey City Police, put your hands on the wall? También escuchó que dijo Jersey City Police, ponga la mano sobre la pared. No, you hesitated. You hesitated a little bit. You didn't. Tú parece que dudó un poco, right? No, no, I did not hear. Maybe didn't understand it because of the language barrier. Por por el por la madre del idioma no entendió. No, I never heard that. Okay. But you did actually go towards the wall with your hands. Pero ustedes saw it in the video, right? Se vio en el video que un que un Usted se acercó a la, la, el muro, la pared con la mano, que se podía ver en el video. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? ¿Te acuerdas del video? Cuando el oficial Celestino se acercó a ti, tú te acercó a tu lado y te fuiste hacia la pared. ¿Se acuerda en el video cuando el oficial Celestino se se giró hacia usted y usted luego se puso de espaldas a él y usted se dirigió a Termoro. Well, like I went over the wall to put the phone, like I said. Okay. So he's coming at you to fight you, and you were going to put your phone down to fight him. Y él viene hacia usted para pelear con usted y usted va a colocar el teléfono para pelear. No para pelear, sino para defenderse. Not to fight, but to defend myself. Okay. You, and you turned your back on him? Y usted se puso de espaldas? Like if I turned my back? You turned your back to the wall. Usted se puso de espaldas a la pared. Eso es lo que vimos en el video. And you went, and he came up behind you as you went up to the wall, like a police officer would do if they were coming to pat you down. Mientras él, 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 si usted se acercaba al muro, es como que había un policía se acercó detrás como para cachearlo. But he never said that he was gonna like to check me over. Okay. He did say to put your hands up against the wall, though. Sí dijo que colocar las manos sobre Maybe he didn't say pat down. He didn't say that. I'm sorry. He never said that. So I advise the attorneys, but I believe that the interpreters are not translating verbatim the witness's response. I'm concerned that it's not giving the correct impression to the jury. For several instances, when I heard simple words in Spanish, the women were not translated at all by the interpreters. In addition, I know this conversation between the interpreter and the witness before the translation begins. That is not acceptable, it cannot be pleasing. I guess Mr. Fernandez could comment on it, knowing that he's fluent in Spanish. I am not, but my perception is the interpretation is not sustained, and it's not going to continue in this manner. I'll hear from counsel. Judge, in the last hour and a half worth of testimony, Spanish in Mexico for the first six to seven years of his life, 
then move to Honduras and learn that type of Spanish that spoken in Honduras, and then came to this country and was trying to learn English at the same time as speaking Spanish. So there's, there's dialect. There's words that mean one thing for one set of Hispanics, and it means another thing for other Hispanics. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is that the translators are looking, uh, once or twice they, they asked each other for a clarification as to what a word meant, um, which is normal. Um, I've, I've observed many times. I'm not addressing that. Okay. Uh, but other than that, Judge, I, I don't see anything this afternoon that um, was of any concern. Judge, if you're looking at me, I don't speak Spanish. I don't even have the slightest, even a modicum of Spanish that Your Honor has. I'm assuming he understands it, but I have to make sure that he does because this record is very important to my client. Okay. So I, I, I want the translation to be accurate. Okay. Your Honor, if this interpreter may add just one simple comment, and, and it's true what the prosecutor said about uh, differences, regionalistic, uh, regional differences in words from one country to another, although that that is the case in, in, in some situations and may, may be the case in, in some instances in this proceeding that goes a bit beyond what the court was uh, pointing out in the beginning about whether it's translation interpretation should be word for word. And I would just point out that uh, interpretation is, we don't inter we interpret word for word, we interpret 100% of the meaning of what is being said, even if that differs from literal words that are being used. If, literal words or translated, interpreted word for word, it will not, it will not uh, come out in this sort of fashion. I want to go back into the transcript and listen to but there's certain words that are simple and obvious words in Spanish that I'm not hearing translated to what it says. Okay, maybe I'm hearing it wrong. There's also times when you witness says something, you then say something to the witness, and then the witness continues. That's, the second That's point. Stop. The second point that no, I... Don't ask the witness for clarification, where's the court? If, if, Do not speak to the witness directly. You ask the court what, if you want to say something to the witness. Very well, Your Honor. And, I, I, and what, I, I, what I can say is that the, the instances where I, as an interpreter, may be, when I was active on the stand, saying something uh, to the witness, if one was to say in Spanish, excuse me, and to that extent, that can be, that can be avoided just by putting it in court. And, and just, just from uh, my perspective, one thing that I did notice this afternoon was when counsel, Mr. Garrigan, asked the question of the uh, witness, he was commencing to uh, give his answer to the question, and he wasn't done answering the question, and he asked a follow-up question right away. Right. So, you know, since we're dealing with, and it's been all day today with translations, I would just ask, and I did the same thing, and, and, and you know, counsel, I'm, I'm asking the court, just let him finish answering the question, because there's, you know, there's, this, that. You know, there's an answer that's going to the interpreter, the interpreters are translating, so. I, and I'm doing the best I can, but I, I sometimes he's answering my question in English, and he's already well, I, starting with his Spanish I answer. I him speaking Spanish, he's yeah. speaking English. So, so just the pace, the cadence, I have, whatever, the pace. Uh, I'll just, slow it down. Okay. Right. I would say sure. Shorter phrases, if you can do it in the human way. If not, then we'll have to deal with it. And, and, and can do it. There, there are, it happens with me, perhaps more often than other interpreters, I may not hear something, and my tendency is to say in Spanish, perdón, or excuse me, as if you have a response given. I will do everything that I can to avoid that and just alert the court that I haven't heard the answer for it, in order for it to be okay. Your Honor, this interpreter would also like to state on the record that. Interpreters don't, again, to to um, just bounce off of what Mr. Zemzer said, my colleague said, interpretation is not verbatim, it's the messages. And although you may recognize a word, there is probably another way of saying the same exact thing. Within degree, yeah, within reason and range, but not obvious one, where I would take five minutes off the record.